Hey, hey, hey. How's everybody doing? So, yeah, technical difficulty at the get-go. That's fun. That's always fun. But tonight we're starting a game I've been trying to replay for a decade now, and that's Castlevania Curse of Darkness. So we are going to play that tonight and tomorrow. Saturday will be more Splatoon. Yeah, Saturday should be more Splatoon. Tuesday we're going to return to the Super Nintendo Classic and play more Super Metroid. Hopefully finishing that out. Hopefully having Steve there as a navigator. And uh, yeah, Wednesday we're going to finish up Mega Man 7 because I'm going to beat Wily. I'm going to beat Wily. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to verbalize it so it happens. <laughs> and uh, we'll move on to Mega Man 8 and then... Yeah, this is the October Playhouse game, and it fits. So let me yeah, just get in my comfy position here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, nothing else going on, really, except uh, keep an eye on Twitter. I'll have a photo to post soon. I got the custom dice in for Mega Man the board game. The dice that I ordered specifically so that I wouldn't have to worry about dice fading. Uh, these are custom cut to... A design that I made to replicate the sprite designs on the Mega Man board game dice and they look really good there's a couple that are cut a little bit off but you can still tell what they are so it's it's not a huge deal it, they were definitely worth the, the uh, price tag so which I mean 12 custom cut dice for $29 shipped so really not that bad not that bad at all but uh but yeah, be on the lookout for Twitter for that, because I'm also going to post a link to the guy's website, because uh, he deserves more. I mean, he's a one-man operation out of California that my sister pointed me to when I asked about custom cut dice on Facebook. So, so good things. Good things. Why don't I shut up when we play the game? And this is the original Castlevania Curse of Darkness disc on an original PS2 Slim using a wireless controller that's like a third party don't I, no actually I think this was the first party dealio this controller's still a little messy when Steve gave me this PS2 and uh, this controller the controller itself was super sticky and I worked on it with Goo Gone and with Baby Wipes and disassembled it, reassembled it, cleaned the inside and the out of it. And the controller's good now. It's darn good now. This is correct. We'll save the slot one because that's the only memory card that's there. Oh yeah, that's my personal file. Um, you know what? I haven't played it in a while. I was really just playtesting to make sure things were working. <clears throat> PS2 save time. There it goes. Now once we get in, if there's still a definitive black border, I'll work on cropping. Fourteen seventy six, Valencia. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind to prevail, out of the darkness and despair, a champion arose. A true blooded vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord Dracula. A truly glorious victory for all. However, the Evil One did not pass from this world in silence. With his final words, Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hey, man, plague and dire famine, the people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity, while the land was pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula, and the invocation of Dracula's curse. 
Mwahahaha. But yeah, this game basically is evil Pokemon. Maybe that's why I like it. I know the cutscenes are going to be cut down. Once we get in game, we'll see. Also, if the audio balance needs adjusted at all, please let me know, because I have not had a chance to balance this system yet. Show yourself, Isaac! I know you're here! Hector! Is that you? I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down. <laughs> I was the one who lured you here. Hector, the fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not. Yeah, you look like I the one that wanted to get with Lord Dracula. <laughs> for the death of Rosalie! Oh, and how will you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you relinquished your powers. You couldn't even protect your own woman. And now you think to defeat me? <laughs> Lord Dracula yes. is gone, but his powers <clears throat> are still here in Valacia. Even you must realize. Devil forging. Indeed, with this the most forbidden of arts. A wisp of conjured matter can be transformed into a hellish devil! There are but two humans who possess this magnificent power. You and I. What? To our lasting shame. But I shed that evil power. Never again will I use it! Ah, but you will, Hector, and soon you have no choice. Without it, I could crush you in an instant. But that wouldn't be very satisfying, now would it? You deserve a most gruesome fate for the humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil forging, you cannot hope to pursue me. That is why you will reclaim your powers and thence follow where I lead you. <laughs> but in the end, the glorious vengeance you seek will not be yours. It will be mine. <laughs> Just go Wait, pierce something Isaac. else and get out of here. Claim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are. I will have my revenge. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got some black bars still. All right, give me just a moment and I will fix that for you guys. This was the cropping that was in place for Mega Man X. A little bit of adjustment, we should be good. turned off during the cutscene. Alright, so yeah, anyone who knows the history of this game on modern systems knows that it doesn't happen on modern, modern systems, because once you get in here, all the rendering goes crazy. But it looks fine.
There's the lock on. Okay. Ticket. Okay, so anytime I'm near a door and it does this under my feet, that's a save point. Keep forgetting that circle enters doors. And even though it's going to take a while, I am going to save every chance I get. <laughs> I used to have this game on the original Xbox way back when. <clears throat> In fact, I still have the player's guide. I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> it's not within arm's reach, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think it's on my bookshelf. But, uh, but yeah, I still have the player's guide for this game. So once we start getting heavy into the devil forging, I may use that try and get some of the best innocent devils I can. Basically there's going to be a lot of hallways. Okay. Until I get some more movement abilities. It's going to be a little slow. The game starts off a little slow, but you know what? That's okay. Give me that. Quick step. having some trouble getting my hands on this game. Also getting the ability to play it. Now, when Steve and I were first coordinating for me to go out to his wedding, he said that he had an old PS2 that he could give me. Because I had mentioned that I'm still trying to find ways to play this game, and the only way I think it's going to happen is if I buy a PS2. He's like, well, I've got an old one. Do you want it? for free and I said yes so knowing that I was going to get a PS2 I went to the local uh, retro game seller which I've mentioned them on here before it's game father they're in our mall and they're freaking awesome it really was not that long ago that I saved but you know what don't care and so in game father I found the game it was I think it was like 20 bucks and then I ended up saving some because I had some uh, credit on my account. So I think I ended up paying like 14, 15 bucks for this. And <clears throat> And I got the game, but I had no way to play it. A good Almost two months after that point. Woo! Sorry you're confined to your room, but I do hope you can see the, the stream just fine there, Majinx. But, uh, yeah, no way to play it. About a month and a half, almost two months passes, and I go to Steve's wedding. It was wonderful. We had a great time. And I got the, uh, 
I got the PS2 from him. Got the map. Looks like we're going that way. And then I got home. And I hooked the PS2 up and started playing the game. And the cutscenes were skipping. Like, really, really bad. The opening cutscene skipped a whole lot to where you almost couldn't press start for it to register and go to the title screen. The first cutscene of the game... That one actually played okay about halfway through. About the time that Isaac starts getting excited about Devil Forging was when, uh, when it start, started skipping, so... I would skip that and get into the game, and the, I mean, the game played fine. And then you'd get to where the first Devil Forging is. Which I think I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm getting there. Ah. But yeah, I'd, I'd get to that first Devil Forging and the cutscene would go, eh, okay, until it would introduce a very key character, and then it froze. No response whatsoever, it just flat out froze. And I took the game back to Gamefather, and they uh, resurfaced it, and I tried again, and it got about a second farther in that cutscene, and it didn't work. So they resurfaced it again, and then it stopped registering as a proper disc. So I took it back, and I told the guy about this, and he's like, you've been in here so much for this game, I'm just going to order another copy. And I'll the, the game has gone up to forty five dollars. I'm gonna eat the difference out of my own store credit just just so you can have the game. I mean, this guy went above and beyond. I'll finish the story in a second. So that's how badly he wants me to regain my powers. Very well. Heed my words, O great powers of darkness. At least with the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living. Immaculate being, appear before me now! Do a little dance and make a fairy. Woo! And the cutscene would freeze right there. Well, well. Devil forging, isn't it? Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. I go by Zed. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. I see. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other Devil Forge Master, are you not? The one you seek fled toward the chapel on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the castle. What concern is this to you? He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me, and to all those who abide in this land. I see. Very well. I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So yeah. This store clerk went above and beyond getting me another copy of the game, and this one was pristine. Also, what should we name the fairy? First name in the chat gets it. I'll finish the story in the meantime. But uh But yeah, this copy is absolutely pristine. The disc is flawless. The case was looked brand new. The, uh, the previous case looked like the, the cover art was printed on regular paper and shoved in there. This one looks like it was from the factory. I mean, the only thing it was missing was proper plastic on the outside of it. I mean, the instruction book was in it and everything. <clears throat> I 
Am I hard to hear? Like, is the audio balance off? Bobo. Bobo it is. Okay, so this is basically how innocent devils work. Depending on which ones I have equipped, they may increase my statistics. Uh, their own abilities take hearts. They get experience alongside Hector. And I can set them to auto to use their stuff the way they want to, or I can set them to command to use their abilities the way I want them to, on command. And fairy types have the ability to open treasure chests, and they usually can heal. I've read all that before. But yeah, is the audio balance hard for me me to be heard? game does start overpowering me, let me know. So like I said, I haven't had the opportunity to balance this one yet. <clears throat> but, but yeah, this guy went above and beyond and got me a pristine copy of the game, and that's what we're seeing is the, uh, the game that looks brand spanking new, never been played. But I had to get original hardware, and I had to find an almost flawless disc in order to get this game again. And right now I've got Bobo on command, so they will heal me whenever I press the triangle button. No, heal me 20 points right now. That's that. <clears throat> I just wanted to tell the story about how many steps I had to go through to make this possible. Oh well, Konami made this game. I don't know if the Konami code works. I don't think they started doing that with the more modern-esque games. Until, uh, the Lords of Shadow. Because it works in Lords of Shadow, too. All it does is make Dracula wink at you. And cause feelings. Where am I going? This way! Bobo leveled up. Yeah, anytime we create a new innocent devil, I'm going to leave it up to the chat for the name. First name in the chat gets to name the innocent devil. Every time we make one. I don't care if you want it to be your own name, or if you want it to be a name you make up. As long as it's appropriate, I'm not naming anything penis. A schlong hopper. Dingleberry McFruit Sack. That won't even fit. That's what she said. Anyway. But naming of innocent devils is up to you guys for fun. But the name has to appear in the chat after the naming screen comes up. And yes, there's a bit of backtracking here in the beginning. But I mean, what's a Metroidvania game if, if there's no backtracking?
Granted, the exploration in this is basically Hallway, hallway Simulator 2017. But, or 2005 in this case. I don't know. There's a little bit of exploration in this game, but not much. Yeah! Secret bosses? I think so? I will admit, I don't rightfully remember offhand. But, on that note, I do have the player's guide, so... We'll be able to find out. They put Raz's goggles in a hat in time? Oh, in the Steam Workshop. Okay. So a hat in time has workshop support. I need that game. There is actually a secret item if I had to save for Lament of Innocence, the other 3D PS2 Castlevania. That? Ooh, a bestiary! Yay! It's always nice to know more about my enemies. Take that, Executioner! going this way. Yeah, it starts off slow, but eventually this game does get a lot better, because I'll have more options for Innocent Devils. Uh, there's item forging, where I can create more weapons and armor and accessories by what enemies drop. I mean, it really does become a very nicely full-fledged Castlevania game. Guess I'm going this way. remember correctly. Skeletons are worthless. They don't give you any experience. Excellent. Executioner, Ghost, Merman. Okay, yeah, so the level one skeletons literally give you no experience. Tomorrow's stream, I'll be sure to look up some of the more interesting tidbits in the guide and see what we can try and do. And just make it a good time. Okay, I may not save every time I pass a save room because that save time is noticeable, <laughs> to say the least. times aren't too bad. Back off, Fenrir. Ow. Should have blocked. One of the things I do remember, and you gotta be a certain level late, much later in the game and you have to have made so many things, but... There is a way to make an electric guitar as a weapon.
doppelganger? Um, technically, no. It's been almost a decade since I've been able to play this game, so it's been a long time. Plus, as I've mentioned a couple times on stream, I still own the player's guide. Like, it's something I've held on to over the years because I had such a fondness for this game when I was younger. So it's been long enough that I still have no idea what I'm doing anymore. So kind of half-blind, I guess you could say. Okay. I don't know how, what you would call a game that you haven't played for over 10 years. Juicy barrels! Everywhere. Potion. Senile blind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that seems accurate. That seems accurate. So I got some aluminum. That'll come in handy later. It's a special find right now, but it becomes fairly common later on. <laughs> I mean, the beginning parts of the game here, I've also played uh, just in the past couple months because I was playtesting for the purpose of the stream. But once we get a, once we get past the first like big boss, that's the portion that I haven't played in over ten years. But I had to make sure that this PS2 that I was given was up to a long play session, and that the game itself was working because I had bad luck with the previous copy of the game that I got my hands on. It was scratched so bad that resurfacing didn't fix it, and when I resurfaced it too many times, it stopped being registered as a proper disc. So yeah, that was fun. All right, okay, so that segment right in there, not on the map, which makes me wonder if there is something to be had. We're gonna check, and then we'll do a little bit of backtracking and come back here. So that's that's one way that this game kind of expanded the possible exploration options. Like, there were obvious side paths that they didn't put on your map, which makes you think, oh, they might be special. And then they would hide things on the regular paths, and you would take the side path already, and... It seems like an artificial bloat, almost. Because it, it really is a hallway simulator. <laughs> but the combat and the items are fun. And the bosses. Yeah, nothing. More of a shortcut, really. Not a bad thing. Thank you, Bobo. <clears throat> But to properly raise the Innocent Devils, you do have to get some variety in your weapons, because if you want them to grow a certain way, you have to use certain weapons. I don't have the ability yet, but depending on the weapon I'm using, depend it, I'm losing my words. Depending on the weapon I'm using causes certain items to drop that are used for ID growth. So, like sword crystals, or... Ooh, money! Or axe crystals, or knuckle crystals, or... And depending on which one you use the most, once certain thresholds are met, determine how the IDs evolve. Which is why I called the stream Evil Pokemon, because that's basically what this is. And I've never seen a system like this in any other Castlevania game. Which makes me wonder why this one doesn't get more love. I mean, this had a very unique, familiar system. Yeah, do a little better once I'm locked on. Fancy that. It's funny how that works. 
I mean, I have never seen a familiar system like this since. In a Castlevania game, I should say. And I really think that an update to this kind of system would be a really interesting twist. What, what's the matter, little fairy? All right, now I can combine things. Got it. Be careful when the fairy is curious. It might end up bad. That was actually very good. <laughs> okay, so I can combine things now. Uh, let's see. Looks like I can make a short sword, which I've already got. Or I can use my short sword to make something new. A foil! Neat. I want to keep my short sword. Gano. Very cool. Can't make that, but I have the recipe. Ooh, got a leather helm. And some soft leather armor. Okay, so I'm on the lookout for another aluminum. Let's see, the Gano would take me up to that foil. Same attack, might be faster. Go for the Gano, let's put on the Weather Helm. Eh! Oh, I forgot about the secondary attack button. Yeah! Get all fancy with the combos. There we go, Evolution Crystals. So yeah, like I was saying, if I'm using swords, we get red ones, axes are blue, spears are green, knuckles are yellow, specials are white, and depending on various... Yeah, and I can turn those on and off as needed, so if I want to keep somebody in this form, then I can turn off evolution crystals. But, uh... But yeah, when they reach certain thresholds, they will evolve. Eventually, I will get an ability that will let me check the evolution tree so I can start planning further ID collection. Zombies! Health up. No? Okay. Thought there might have been a side room. I was wrong. Okay, keep all those hearts up. Dead people! Yay! And now that I have a working PS2 again, let me try and track down the Legacy of Kane series. I've still got Blood Omen sitting up here. I've got Soul Reaver on my PS3. But, uh. I think I've got Blood Omen 2 on uh, on my GameCube stuff. So really I would just need to track down Soul Reaver 2 and Defiance. Defiance being like the pinnacle of that series. It was also the last chapter, but... Oh, 
both of those games are going to be ridiculously expensive. I've got everything I just mentioned in Steam as well, but the Steam conversion sucks so hard. Especially Soul Reaver, because you can't use regular controllers. You have to, like, map them. I mean, the, the Legacy of Cain series was so good on PlayStation. And PlayStation alone, pretty much. In fact, Soul Reaver was one of my first original PlayStation games, now that I think about it. Soul Reaver and Legacy of Kane mixed with America McGee's Alice, I, I had a pretty unique viewpoint as a teenager. I was never a goth kid, but I loved everything the goths loved. <laughs> The dark video games, the crazy stuff, the... yet I wore more white than any of them. I always consider myself like the happy-go-lucky goth kid. Like, I never took on the fashion or the attitude, but I liked the, the, uh, the culture and the... if you want to call it culture. Like the games and books and stuff that they liked. <laughs> Stop puking. Oh god. No. No, I know you. Those are bad. Cool. Um, I'll figure I'll leave Evo Crystals on for now so that we can see what the first evolution is going to end up being. I've pretty exclusively used the axe so far, so. Mm, this door. Not sure what Bobo will become. Good night, honey. Love you. Okay, ghost. I do get disoriented a little because a lot of the stuff is samey, but that's what the map's for. <laughs> Nowadays, that's something that people would say is terrible and makes the game completely unplayable, but... I'm from the era where you sucked it up and you figured it out, sweetheart. <laughs> there are games that, yes, are completely unplayable because of their flaws. <laughs> but checking a map to see which direction is helpful is not a flaw. At least in my book. Plus, I mean, nowadays, everyone's, everyone would criticize for things like that, but then, like, Dark Souls is praised for the exact opposite. Or, Dark Souls is praised for the exact same reasons, pretty much. Weird controls, difficult camera. Well, this is fun. Therapeutic chair. Low frequency waves soothe away your stiffness. This low price includes delivery and handling. Order now! I feel better. Oh yeah, there's also like a side quest in the game for sitting in every possible chair you find.
Ha! He dropped aluminum. To the combined menu! Ah! I have too many controllers on my desk. They're starting to slide around. Oh, don't do that. I want to make the knuckle. I'll do the knuckle. <laughs> Punch rings. Okay, so the next aluminum will do the next helmet. Okay. Ooh, potato skin sounds good. So my boss just gave us a giant bag of sweet potatoes. So I have a feeling I'm going to be eating sweet potatoes for a few weeks. Not a bad thing. It's actually a really good vegetable. Ow. Oh, oh yeah, we need to take care of the ghosts first. Ghosts first. Do not need you healing him. There. Figure out the button. Well, hello. One button starts lock on, the other one cycles through. Oh, he didn't drop aluminum. Spooky scary in here. Come on, just drop another piece of aluminum. They're not ghosts. I don't know if they cause healing, though. I'm not going to find out. Yeah, I think he just healed the armor. Good? Yeah, we're good. To my left. Yes. Okay. I do wish there was a little on-screen mini-map that would help with the orientation, but there's not. Oh, well. It's been a while. Good time to save. They're starting to spread these out. Feels good to be playing this again. I mean, there, there are a small handful of games that really made an impact on me as a kid. This was one of those games. Just 3D Castlevania is usually frowned upon. To me, this game stood out as a gem. And I played Legacy of Darkness on N64. Thankfully it was a rental. I played the Werewolf Castlevania. And yes, it was just as bad as I remember it. Aluminium! Okay. Corinthian. 
Okay, I didn't need healing. I pressed the wrong button. Let's see, can I do any other weapons yet? No. Wait. Nope. Okay. Okay, so anyone currently watching, I am very interested in knowing your thoughts on the game. That's where I'm headed. Third floor over there. Okay, so we are on the right track. From what you've seen me play so far, what do you think? seen everything this game has to offer yet. So I might be asking a little prematurely. Game explains, stop posting Super Mario Odyssey videos. I want something to be surprising. This is what I get for having Twitter open to follow notifications. I want to see Game Explain posting things that spoil good majority of games. <sighs> I'll get off my soapbox now. I enjoy Game Explain. I really do. I like what they do. They do a lot of really interesting and informative things. I do feel like they go overkill on the game preview stuff. Why I usually end up preferring Nintendo Life over Game Explain. Nintendo Life does have preview things as well. I don't think they do overkill on every minute detail they can get their hands on. Did I loop? Or is that just another chair? I've accidentally looped around. But I need to take that third floor right there. Yeah. because instead of taking the third floor thing there, I ended up continuing down the hallway and going down to the first floor again and looping back up here. So yeah, I did take a loop. Whoops. Accidental grinding. <laughs> That's a thing, right? Never pick that up. Oh, heck yeah. Now we're in an area I haven't been yet. Bobo 
is now an herbist. I don't know if Bobo had enough abilities as a regular fairy yet. Let's see. Well, they increased my luck. That's nice. Well, let's let Bobo level up as an herbist for a while. Okay, so yeah, we're just looping around here. Not locked, I'm out. Heck yeah, I'm out. That was a white dragon. Whoa! There we go, jeez. No! Still 20. Okay, Discord just got video chat, so, um... Skype's officially dead. <laughs> these things hop around. I heard the room lock when I entered, so I gotta kill them all. Since I kept the fight on the other side of the room, they didn't get in the way. I'm okay with this. Ooh, this looks fancy. Used to, anyway. Background. Castle, moon, swirling clouds. That was kind of cool, actually. What do we got here? No idea because it's not on the map. Wonderful. Save room. Oh, that door up there is clearly a boss door. So you know what? Saving. No. Saving. Not jumping. Saving. Waiting. 
let's see. Can't do anything new? Okay. Scary! See what my fairy's trying to do. Take that. But you were beaten. Oh, okay, that's new and exciting. Surprisingly, I have less defense though, because I'm doing more damage. Apparently, be behind his legs is the safest possible spot, because I just tore through him like a piece of paper. Holy cow. Maybe I'm secretly awesome? It's a new chair! Cool health dealy. Thought I could walk in there, but no, the outside of it is where you interact. God, that better be a cat. You scared me, Draco. <laughs> that was well timed. You're gonna get right in front of. Okay, so these are the Ball Jet Mountains. There, there should be. There it is. Okay, so I didn't find everything in the abandoned castle. There's still some stuff to find. Because 91.74%. You didn't hear it? Should've. Desktop audio is on. Another innocent devil. Magmard! What are we naming Magmard? First name I see in the chat. Spitfire. <laughs> Permanent name, even if he doesn't keep the the magma theme as he evolves. We'll see. 
Battle type Innocent Devils are exceptionally strong and excel at physical combat. As their name implies, they are most effective in battle. Battle type IDs have an additional AI mode. In addition to auto and command, battle type IDs can also guard. When guard is selected, the ID will enter a defensive stance blocking all enemy attacks. While in this mode, a shining circle will appear around the ID. All enemy attacks will be blocked by the guard field. If Hector stands on the guard field, he will also be protected from the guard enemy attacks for a certain amount of time. However, as the guard field is attacked, it will shrink. This will recover in size over time. As Hector executes certain combos, the word chain may appear. Press the attack button or final attack button when this happens. If timed correctly, the ID will warp in front of Hector and add in a cooperative attack. This is called a chain attack. Neat! doing his thing. No new combines yet, so I probably need to level up at least a time or two. Unless... Yep, the Jet Black pickup. A broadsword. Jet black for another spear, and for an armor. I basically do the same thing. Yeah. Also, do I have? Oh, they're on for him. Okay. Let's make the armor. Hard leather armor. Cool. Go ahead and give Spitfire exclusively sword crystals. Let's see what happens. Not on the map. Well, none of it's on the map. Yeah, let's go this way. quickly. I like it. Spitfire alone! A bamboo lance? It's my attack down. I just want to see it. Oh, look at that! Okay. 
kind of fun for mobility. Okay, but I wanted to give him exclusively sword crystals. back here? I did. Some some neat evolutions in this. I'm not gonna spoil anything right now because pursuing some of the more unique evolutions will be uh, something we uh, work on later on. The music changed. Perfect guard. I can parry now. I found meat. I have literally found candle chicken. If I don't find some wall chicken, I'm going to be disappointed. I don't remember if there's wall chicken in this game or not. Take a left. Okay, so L1 centers the camera behind me. R2 is lock on, L2 is change lock on. Squares, kill the dogs! I love how Spitfire's doing all the work. Attaboy. I guess orcs are traditionally pig-like, and that just looks flat out like a pig. I keep picking up Rosarios when there's no enemies on the screen. Stop dropping them if I hear the last enemy. Also, there's so many drops of them. Really? the one door I needed for progress. That's going to happen a lot, isn't it? Just get this feeling it's going to happen. 
lot. I don't mind zombies everywhere, they actually have experience points. This way. Cutscene. It can't be. That's impossible. She can't be alive. Oh. May I be of service? Uh, no. Forgive me. My name is Hector. What are you doing in a place like this? I could ask you the same question, sir. I am searching for someone. A man bearing the same crest I'm wearing. And this man, is he your enemy or your friend? You sound as if you know him. Yes, quite so. Now answer me. Be he your friend or foe? He is my most bitter enemy. I see. In that case, I shall help you. That could have gone one of two ways. Me, lady. But by what reason would you offer me this boon? Indeed, by what reason should I trust it? Your enemy is my enemy. That is reason enough. If you are a devil forge master, you shall need a place to keep your little friends safe. Rest assured, you have no reason to refuse my help. You seem quite knowledgeable. Who are you exactly? A witch. I escaped from the western lands where we were hunted like vermin. I have the power to envision the future. How interesting. Draco. And your name? Julia. What? My house is further on. I shall prepare an elixir that may be of use to you. Farewell, for now. Silly cat. Julia. She is the very image of Rosalie. So yeah, for some strange and unusual reason, she looks exactly like Hector's dead wife. Oh, jeez. Who scared me? Huge iron door. What is this? I think this is a warp room. Yeah, this is a warp room. Okay, so yellow doors with this symbol underneath me are warps. Good to know. And there's a save point. And actually, looking at the time, this is probably a good, good ending point for tonight. We'll uh. Draco, you were in front of the TV, kitty kid. Yes, you were. Hey, do you want to say hi to the people before we go? Hey, stop. Stop. Yes. <laughs> Brat. So, all right. Well, thank you, Majinx, for being here, and to everyone else that was here as well. And, uh, I'm really happy to be playing this game again. As I've said multiple times throughout the stream, this was a very, very big game in my childhood. 
I've been trying to replay it for over a decade now. It just... I say childhood. It came out in 2005. That was the year after I graduated high school. Holy crap, I'm old. Anyway. Because I graduated high school in 04. But, uh, okay. Well, 19, I mean, I, I still... Yeah, I was a kid. I, heck yeah, I was a kid. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Really glad to be replaying this again. It feels so good to be back with something that just... It's fun. It's its a little slow. A little slower than I remember it being, but it's fun. And it will pick back up, I promise. Especially as we get more IDs and more evolutions of such and are starting to, like, examine the, their evolutionary chains. And it'll get interesting. I'm going to kill this cat. Draco. Hey. But anyway, we'll be back with more of this tomorrow. And then Saturday will be Splatoon. Tuesday we'll continue Super Metroid on the SNES Classic. And Wednesday we'll hopefully finish Wily off in Mega Man 7 and move on to 8. So that's what I got going on, guys. Just as usual, keep an eye on Twitter for any announcements, updates, and fun stuff. And as always, thank you for playing, and I'll see you next game. Bye-bye.